find the right words and there's no way this Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe and welcome to my channel. So today's video is just going to be on this look that I'm wearing right now. I've been really loving wearing this look for the summer because it is, I don't know if you can tell from this far away, I'm sure from the intro you could tell, but I like to pop on a purple eyeliner on my lower lash line and then do like a really dramatic wing with some lashes because I think it makes your eyes pop, especially if you have green eyes. Also I paired it with a glossy pink lip just because I think the purple and pink complement each other, but if you guys don't like the pink lip then you can obviously switch it out with a nude or whatever you guys want. This is just something that I like to wear so if you guys want to see how to recreate this look then just keep on watching. So for today's look I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and the first color I'm taking is this shade right here. It's like a deep um, chocolate brown and I'm going in with my Morphe M441 brush. If you guys have never tried the Morphe brushes, I really recommend them. They're really good brushes and I use them every day. So I'm just going to take this shade and just buff it into the crease. This look isn't going to be crazy with eyeshadow just because I'm really focusing the lower lash line. Um, you'll see that in a minute. But then I'm going in with this kind of cranberry shade and I'm taking that same brush that I was using before and I'm just going to focus this a little bit deeper into the crease and just make sure everything is really nice and blended. For the next color, I'm going in with this shade right here and the Sigma E40 blending brush. Sigma brushes are also really good and I'm just using that on the outer crease just, just to blend everything. Then I'm taking this really pretty color. It's like a champagne-y pink shade um, and I'm just putting that on my eyelid with my fingers. Now I'm going in with L'Oreal's um, liner. This is the Super Slim, I believe. And I'm going to be using two different liners for my wing. The reason why I use two is because this liner has a really nice felt tip and I like to get that started off with my liner because I find it's easier to do this and then kind of trace it with a different liner. So for the second liner, I'm going to be using the NYC Liquid Liner. This liner is a lot more liquidy and black. So I like to just put that on top of my other wing and it works out perfect because the first wing is already traced out for you. For mascara, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Voluminous like always. I'm going to be using lashes today, but um, I'm just going to apply some mascara just so that the lashes blend in with my lashes. And the ones I'm using today, I can't remember what the style is. I know there are Dell, but any lashes will look good with this look. Um, and then for the star of the show, I'm using my ColourPop eyeliner in the shade Piggy Bank. You guys need this liner in your life. It is the best liner I've ever, ever used. It stays on your waterline all day. So that is what I used. And then for my face, I went in with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation and then I mixed it with the Clinique Beyond Perfection because this one's a little bit more full coverage. So I mixed those together and I didn't show it on camera just because I feel like it's repetitive and I always show that. So just to highlight, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and this is my favorite concealer of all time. I use it all the time. And then to actually like conceal under my eyes, I like to mix it with the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer because this one's a little bit darker. And I just mix these two together and it creates the perfect under eye concealer. So I'm just going to do that and place it on anywhere that I want it to be highlighted. And then I'm going to blend it all with a um, Real Techniques sponge. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? This is just what I start. This is just what I start. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words. And there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl. So I can only say that it feels right. It feels right. It feels right. Yeah, I can only say that it feels right. 
I wanted this look to be really, really full coverage, so I went in with the Milani uh, powder foundation and this e.l.f. Kabuki brush, and I'm just setting all that foundation in place, but it also um, it gives you a little bit more of a softer full coverage look and I really really have been loving doing this lately I know it seems like a lot of coverage which it is but I find that it makes your makeup last all day and that's what I want to set my under eyes I'm going in with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder I do this every single day and I'm just going to set um, where we put any of that concealer with my Sigma tapered blending or no my Sigma tapered highlight brush and I'm just going to apply this anywhere that we put the concealer and the highlight let me see you hold it down we gonna have a blast cuz I just want to know what you're gonna do with all of that ain't gotta say a word now I'm going in with my Kat Von D shade and light palette. As you can tell, I really like this palette and I'm hitting pan on like every shade. But I'm going to take the first color and apply this with my, let's see, my Morphe uh, M523 uh, brush. And I'm just going to create a contour and also blend that out. I really, really like this brush for contouring. I find it works really well for me. So that's what I'm doing and then I'm also going to apply it on my temples and um, anywhere that I wanted to contour. Now going back to the eyes, I'm just going to take this same shade that we used at first um, for our crease and I'm just going to slightly blend the purple out with this. I wanted it to look a little bit smoky but then I also went back in and applied more purple liner after that. Also I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Mascara but this one is the purple one and I found this a while ago and I can't remember where I found it but this is what really makes the eyes pop. And then I'm going back to the face and I'm using my favorite bronzer from the drugstore and that is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This bronzer is amazing. It's not too neutral. It's not too warm and it's it's like what it says. It blends out like butter. It's an amazing product and it also smells really good. It smells like coconuts and it smells like you're on a beach and I just love it. So I'm just going to put this all over my face. This is just for us now. For blush, I'm using my all-time favorite blush right now, and this is the MAC blush in the, in the shade Margin. I use this a lot in my videos, but I can't help it. It's such a pretty blush. It has like a really nice luminous finish to it, and I love all the glow I can get. So that's why I love using this product. And I'm just applying this to the apples of my cheeks and blending this out. There's no telling you're the right girl, so I can only say that it feels right. It feels right. It feels right. Yeah, I can only say that For highlight, today I'm using the Laura Geller um, Gilded Honey Baked Bronze, or not baked bronzer, baked highlight. And I'm going to apply this on the high points of my face, so on my cheekbones on the um, cupid's bow, on the bridge of my nose, and above my eyebrows. And for the highlight, I'm using the M501 brush by Morphe. This is my favorite, favorite highlight brush. I find that it works amazingly. So I'm just applying this highlight anywhere that the high points of my face is and just pretty much dousing myself in it because a girl cannot have too much highlight. Let's be real. For the lips, I wanted something really glossy and just easy. I didn't want to line my lips or anything because I wanted the focus to be on my eyes. So I went in with this butter gloss in the shade Cupcake. It is such a pretty pink shade, but I wanted to mute it down just a little bit. So I went in with the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie and I just mixed that. So you will see that in a second in the next clip. But I really like the combination of these two butter glosses. They make like the perfect baby pink shade and I think it complements the eyes really, really nicely. But of course you can do any lip that you want. And then to finish this look off, I'm just going to set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray and I'm just going to spray my face with that. And that will be the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.